Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. And Funder, whose 15-year-old son died of an accidental fentanyl overdose, gave a moving and tear-filled speech about the dangers of the deadly drug, prompting a response from Trump. The California mother spoke about how her son, Weston, was an amazing older brother to his three younger siblings, and that he enjoyed football, surfing, and hockey. She tearfully described how he was a bright and energetic young teenager blossoming into a responsible young man. Funder said she warned him of the dangers posed by drugs and told him to stay away. But tragically, after taking a dose of something thought not to be the deadly synthetic drug, her son passed away. She then blamed his death on Democrats, receiving massive applause from an emotional crowd. I hold Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, the border czar. What a joke, Gavin Newsom and every Democrat who supports open borders responsible for the death of my son, she told the crowd at the RNC. Her pointedly laying the blame for her son's death on the Democrats was popular with the crowd, which seemed on the edge of their seats listening to Funder. Like most teenagers, Weston wanted to fit in. And in a moment of peer pressure, he tried something that someone gave to him and it took my baby's life. We did everything right. I had those conversations with him and fentanyl still found my son. And on February 27, 2022, our lives were shattered and our baby was gone. She said the Democrats' support of lax border restrictions has led to a surge in fentanyl smuggling into the U.S., and by extension, led to the death of her son Weston. Funder called for cartels, who manufacture most of the fentanyl consumed in the U.S., to be designated as terrorist organizations. The move could lead to less death among young Americans, she argued. After her remark, Trump appeared to mouth, we should do it, to his newly picked VP running mate Senator J.D. Vance, Republican Ohio. This was not an overdose, it was a poisoning, Funder said. His whole future, everything we wanted for him, was ripped away in an instant, and Joe Biden does nothing. The latest data from the CDC found that 107,941 Americans died from overdose in 2022, the equivalent of 295 fatalities per day and up 1% on the year before. Fentanyl was the main force behind the surge, which is fatal in even in tiny doses, with the illicit drug behind nearly 70% of the fatalities. America's youth are particularly vulnerable to the drug too, with many reports of children, like Weston who take one pill and pass away. Sadly, provisional figures for 2023 suggest the epidemic is continuing to rise. There were 110,640 fatalities estimated for the 12 months to October that year. Oregon, which has been experimenting with decriminalizing drugs, currently has the sharpest surge in fatalities.